OK, in level in um, learnings on training uh, part seven video, I am just going to focus on Turnitin submission point. One of the main folders I decided for my module shell is number seven Turnitin submission point. Let me just go back to one of my uh, modules that we, I already created, then you will see. Um, OK, I'm just going to my learning zone landing page. Uh, study my principle and practice, yes. I'm just going to click this one to takes me to the edit mode. This is the edit mode. Turn it in submission point. You can see this is the main folder. I have got two level one subfolders. One is for DMU Leicester students only, and other one is for CISU Philippine students only. Let's say I am going to focus on DMU Leicester. This is level one, level, level one subfolder. Now you can see I have got two level two subfolders here. Okay. I am just going to create a Turnitin submission point for assignment three. At the moment, I have got two submission points, assignment one, AS1, AS2. Now I am going to create AS3 for uh, for training uh, uh, session reason. I am going to click my, I changed my password yesterday. Now I am going to make level uh, submission three because I want to have that submission point under this subfolder. Okay, then I am going to click this subfolder, level one. Then there is a blue link, uh, blue color uh, border. Then the submission point is going to be under this subfolder, level one. Simply. I am going to click uh, create new. I am going to click assignment. One more time. I am going to click. Uh, I am going to create a submission point for under this folder, DMU Lister students. And you can see I added a uh, picture, just uh, warning student if they submit in the wrong place, then you don't you know, get their mark. It works, you know, in, in my module I had said 170 people, only one student submitted the wrong place. Even I added this uh, warning message. Anyway, I am clicking this folder here, DMU Lister students. I am going to create new, uh, uh, create new, yes. And then I am going to click assignment. Okay. So I am going to give a title. AS3. I'm just going to call it test submission. OK, test submission. Grade out of 100. Usually. Keep this grade out of 100 because uh, you are going to tell SAP the different weighting. OK, the SAP will calculate your rating automatically. But when it comes to assignment submission on the Turnitin, please use 100 as a point. And, in, and also you can add here due date. Definitely you're not going to add due date. Then there is a the description. Uh, this is your AS3. Right hand side, there are a number of options, see? Start date, end date, you can add submission. But you are not going to change this section. Our turnitin is under evaluation and feedback. If you click evaluation and feedback, and if you scroll down, there is a um, uh, there is a tab called manage turnitin. You are going to click this one under evaluation and feedback, manage Turnitin. Then you are going to say any en uh, enable similarity report. Yes. 
I am not going to touch and change uh, this uh, section. Uh, don't don't change anything and go to the more option. OK, go to the more option. Then you will see a familiar page. We used to have the same page in, in our blackboard. OK, so standard paper. Yes, attach a rubric. Yes, because I have got many rubrics for different modules. Uh, then I can choose the rubric from here and uh, it will attach on the assignment. Student paper, I am not going to touch. Similarity to the report. Yes, I am going to choose create report immediately. A student can resubmit until due date. OK, this is very important one. If you have a deadline, a student can resubmit several times to check similarity and so on. Then please choose the second one. Here there are three options. I am just suggesting to click this exclude small uh, sources. Click words and five. It means the Turnitin is going to just ignore similarity of five words. L let's say if they are going to use they, a, from, in, out in one sentence. Up to five words, similarity is not going to uh, be uh, uh, calculated by the Turnitin, and it's going to ignore. And usually, I use it. I I tick this exclude small uh, sources, and I put five words. Okay. What is the upload template? Let's say in some of the assignments we have got template. We give students template and it's OK, you have to follow this template. If they submit that template as a part of their assignment, then every students are going to every single student submission is going to show a very high similarity because let's say 100 students are going to use same template and they are going to submit same template then there will be similarity issue. For that reason, you as an instructor can upload your template here. Then uh, the Turnitin is not going to recognize similarities of the template. Let's say if you have got 10 questions and students must add those 10 questions uh, on their assignment, then you can add those 10 questions here in upload template, then the Turnitin is going to ignore similarities on those um, questions or template. Once you have done, then submit. That's all. Let's just submit it. For the purpose is just to show you about the uh, save and close. Then you can see under DMU Lester, I have got three submission. I already created this assignment one, assignment two, and I created assignment three. Simply students click assignment one. Also, you can uh, you can hide or you can make it visible to students. OK. Then students simply go to the assignment and submit. A student can submit in two different locations. One, they can submit from here, from this folder, uh, turn submission point, or they can submit from assignments tab. If you I click assignment tab, see, they can submit from assignment tabs. But and if you hide it, then they are going to send you only one uh, one submission point. At the moment, in my module, you can see there are 94 students in my module. And there are three submission points and simply they are going to click this submission point. But I am not a student. Well, I'm not a student. OK, and they will see only their own name and then they submit. So let me just go back. And I created another main folder which is very important, you know, external examiner folder. 
this is this should be um, default by ITMS, but they didn't. But I am suggesting to you should make this a folder. This is the main folder and it has got four level one subfolders. OK, see. Then you are going to add your assignment brief. You are going to add your moderation form. You are going to add your samples and you are going to add your mark sheet. But remember, uh, external examiner folder must be hidden from students. You can see it is hidden from students. OK, I am going to just stop a recording and uh, I will have one conclusion video. Uh, part eight.